Annuities. Uh, now remember there's no such thing really as a standard annuity. In this case what we need is um, we want to put uh, a sum of money in the bank today so that in a year's time we can take out $5,000 and do that for another three years and have uh, zero balance. So let's go into spreadsheet and put in an estimate for how much we need. So I'm guessing we want four lots of $5,000. That'll be about 20,000. And that's probably gonna be a bit much because we haven't taken into account the fact that we're gonna be getting 8% interest here. But let's start off with 20,000. Uh, we need a couple of constants. So let's put them into cell C1 and two. C1 can be the interest rate multiplier. So we'll put in a 1.08 into cell a uh, C1 and the required payment of $5,000 into C2. So to um, carry on our formula here, the first job is to start a formula equals, we want the initial amount, we're going to add interest, so we're gonna multiply by the value over here in C1 and I'll insert a dollar to make sure that that's an absolute reference so that when we copy the formula down, we always go back to C1. Uh, and then we wanna subtract the payment of 5,000. So minus this number, and again, make it an absolute reference. Tick the box. And we're gonna copy this down. So that's one payment, two payments, three payments, four payments. Now you can see here after four payments, we've still got plenty of cash left. So maybe we should have started off with a bit less. Uh, let's take 4,000 off and see what happens. So if we started with 16,000 uh, and selected that, okay, so that's obviously not enough. So we need to go up a bit, maybe 16,500, uh, try that. And so on, now this can get a bit tedious. You can see we're getting a bit warmer. We're down to within $82 here of a zero balance. But another way to tackle these is do them in reverse. Now that we've thought through what we're doing here, we can start by saying at the end of it all, we want a zero balance. So we'll start with a zero balance here and then reverse the process from here. So the first thing is to add the payment and then divide by the interest rate. So we start a formula equals the amount before uh, plus the required payment that we want to take. We'll turn that into an absolute reference. We're also going to need brackets around this amount here to make sure that we apply the interest rate to the whole amount. And then instead of multiplying by the rate, we want to divide by the rate. Uh, and again, make sure that that's an absolute reference. So we select the formula. So that's what we need one year before we finish. Uh, if we tap and drag that down, that's two years, three years. And so basically here's the actual amount uh, that we'd need. Now let's widen the column up a little bit here and format these numbers in this cell, maybe to um, two decimal places, format, number format fix two and so let's just check that this works if i now take this value uh, and park it into this cell so here we go one six five six zero and 63 cents and select that well we're within a cent which is pretty good isn't it so that's a, a way of looking at an annuity and if you wanted to um, save it obviously there's file save uh, to do that